you know, it, it's so difficult uh, for young players to push their way through into a first team, especially at Premier League level. We knew from the start that I probably was best off going out on loan. I knew that there was probably less opportunities going this year because all the centre backs were fit and I'm um, also at the age I am now. I need to really be playing first team football somewhere and get that experience. I need a shoulder to lean on. Oh, would you lend me yours? You couldn't be more west if you damn tried. But you can't see my flaws from over there. This is my place, I've been here for, it's my third week here now. Here I've got my professional debut shirt. This was when I came on for the last 20 minutes against Hansa Rostock in the Pokal Cup. They don't actually know yet because they've not been over to visit. I've signed that and put a little message on from mum and dad just to say thank you for their support throughout my career so far. I played for Bolton from when I was nine till 19. Things had gone well in my third year scholar and I'd got my A-levels, got two A's and a B in maths, geography and economics. With the state the club was in, it didn't look like I was gonna get anything just because the, the club wasn't in a position to really offer contracts. So around January that season, I'd made plans to go um, and study in America. Two weeks before um, my flight to America, Liverpool got in contact and said, we've seen that play and uh, we're interested in having a look at him. Um, we go to Germany for pre-season. Fortunately for me, I got an opportunity off the back of you know, injuries, which happens a lot in football and sometimes you do need it. The manager started to take a liking to me because I had a conversation with him and you know, he said how much he thought I'd improved in that time. Our manager worked with the sporting director here at Stuttgart, so you know I'd speculate that he probably had something to do with it, which again, which is an example of you know how good he's been with me and helped me out so much in that respect. But for myself, in terms of my own game, I knew that I had to get better on the ball, and that was potentially something that I wouldn't have done as much in League One football. Um, it might have been more focused on defensive abilities. I mean, over here where, you know, there's a culture where you play with the football on the floor, I knew that it, it'd benefit me massively. Stuttgart is a schöne Stadt. Ich habe ein bisschen fair, insbesondere wenn der Vase ist. You know, it's a good, good fan base, massive club, great stadium, so never really have to think twice about it. First time I've lived away from home, lived away from my parents, so I've got to be self-sufficient for the first time in my life, but I'm enjoying that bit of responsibility. I was ready to move out. But then the downside is, you know, it can be lonely at times. You don't realise how much you're required to talk and need to talk until you go to a different team and all of a sudden you can't speak in their language. In my first session, uh, I was pretty much just running around shouting ya yeah and gut because those are the only two words I knew. Uh, so I bet they thought I was a bit of a psychopath just running around shouting yes and good.
within the first two weeks you can sort of get a feeling about whether you're going to be happy somewhere and just in terms of football um, alone I knew that I was so glad that I'd come over and made this move because I, I believe that it's going to benefit me massively as a player but also as a person as well.